Hello, I'm here to read a story from the book, The Quiet Boat Ride and Other Stories about Fox and Chick. And the author is Sergio Ruzier. <laughs> and I know you've seen some other Fox and Chick stories and I'm picking out one of them to read today. This one is called Chocolate Cake. There's a picture you can see. This house up here and the ladder, so kind of get that all in your um, <clears throat> mind as you read the story. So first we see Chick peeking out of this little house we just looked at, and he says, oh no! So here he is peeking out, whoops, here he is, first picture, and he sees this, looks like a present, doesn't it? And he's looking down and he says, oh no! <clears throat> so he starts to come down the ladder and he says, I knew this would happen. Here he is coming down the ladder and then saying that comment. And then Fox comes. <clears throat> he says, Chick, why are you so sad? And Chick says, I received this box. So here he is. Him. And I received this box, and he said, and Fox says, "Well, why don't you open it?" And Chick says, "I'm worried." And Fox says, "It might be a chocolate cake." So he's not kind of excited about it, and he thinks you ought to check it out, right? But Chick doesn't look too excited like Fox does, does he? He's worried. And Fox says, "Well, it could be something really good like that." Well, Chick says, that's what I'm worried about. And Fox says, I thought you liked chocolate cake. And Chick says, I like chocolate cake more than life itself. <laughs> that's a lot, really. <laughs> so they're talking and Fox is rubbing his tummy. I think he likes chocolate cake too, right? Mm -hmm. So then Fox says, well, then so why don't you just open the box? And Chick says, well, <clears throat> because every time I eat a whole chocolate cake, I get very sick. Well, Fox says, you don't have to eat it all. See? He says, you don't have to eat it all. And he says, I don't? Hmm. Yeah, Fox says, you could share it. And Chick says, I could? Fox says, is getting a little frustrated, I think. And he says, open the box, Chick. And Chick says, I don't know. Says, I just don't know. He's still kind of thinking, isn't he? And then Chick says, what if there is no chocolate cake? And Fox says, Chick, there is cho a chocolate cake inside that box. And Chick says, well, how do you know? And he says, because I brought you that box. And then Chick realizes, hmm. So, what do you think he does? He opens it up, and there they are, happily enjoying it together. Look at that. They cut it up. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm-mm. And Chick says, good cake. I think I could have eaten the whole thing by myself. And Fox says, I'm glad you didn't. That's just a picture of the, <clears throat> the rest of the scenery. But there they are happily eating. And that's funny that he says he could have eaten it himself. He says, I get sick if I eat a whole cake. Then share it. <laughs> Which always makes sense, right? It's always good to share. And that was the end of that story. Well, I'm going to read another one called The Sunrise. Mm -hmm. And again, we have a little picture for you to look at. There's Fox in his bed with his book and a little glass of, I'm not sure if that's water or milk. I don't remember if we'll find out or not. We'll see. <clears throat> but it looks like oh, out the window you can tell it's night because there's stars in the sky. Okay. Ring, ring. His alarm clock is going off. He gets up and he splashes his face with water and scrubs his face clean, brushes his teeth, and walks out the door. 
So there he is. Ring, ring. Wash face, brush teeth, walk out the door. And look what happens when he goes outdoors. What time of day is it? Hmm. It's still nighttime. Look at the stars. And there's Chick peeking out of his house. Hmm. <clears throat> and Chick says, where are you going, Fox? And he said, to watch the sunrise from a hilltop. See, that's why he got up early. But Chick says, but it's so early. And then Fox says, that's when the sun rises, Chick. Right? If you want to get up and see the sunrise, should you wait till the sun comes up and then go out? No, you have to get up early, right? While it's still dark. So that's what Fox is telling him. So then Chick says, well, may I come with you? And Fox says, okay, but hurry, I don't want to miss it. And Chick says, no problem, I'll be right down. So they're talking, and that's when he says to come. And here he says, no problem, I'll be right down. Hmm. <clears throat> I still have a cough that I can't get rid of. Well, while Fox is waiting, patiently leaning against the tree, you can see in this picture, Chick calls to him, what should I wear, Fox? Fox says, Chick, please hurry. Why does he want him to hurry? Because, right, because the night is going to turn to day pretty soon and the sun is going to rise. And then Chick says, should I take an umbrella? It's not raining, says Fox. And if it was, we wouldn't be able to see any sunrise because it'd be too cloudy, right? So here he is calling about the umbrella. And what do you think Fox is feeling there? Look at his face. He's getting a little frustrated. Yeah, he got up especially early, washed his face, brushed his teeth, all planned to get up early enough to see the sunrise. And now Chick is making him wait and wait. And then Chuck, Chick yells down, <clears throat> should I bring a salami? <laughs> we'll eat later, Chick. Hurry, we're going to miss the sunrise, he says. He's getting a little exasperated. Waiting, isn't he? And then Chick said, should I take my hammer? What do you need your hammer for? Chick says, I can't find my hammer. And Fox is like, huh? What is he asking me this question for? Chick, let's go, he says. And Chick finally comes down the ladder. Look at him. He looks a little bit concerned, doesn't he? And he said, it was such a nice hammer. He's worried because he couldn't find his hammer. I don't know why he thought he needed a hammer, but we'll, maybe we'll find out. So he follows Fox, who's a little perturbed at this point, following along, and what do they do? They walk up a hill, and Chick says, where's the sunrise? Where is this sunrise, Fox? And Fox is looking too, and look at the sky. Does it look like night or day? The sun is up already. Yeah, it's daytime already. Fox says, Chick, we missed the sunrise. Oh, too bad. What do we do now, Fox? I have an idea, Chick. So there, there, he's kind of like, here, we missed it. But then he's thinking about it and he says, I have an idea. And this is the idea. They lay on the hill. And I think, what do you think they're going to do? <clears throat> Before I say... You think they're gonna lay there for a while? Oh, I think so. And now they're gonna see what? Oh, that's the sunset. And there, little Chick says, I like sunsets, Fox. Me too, Chick. Have you ever seen a sunrise? And, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Chick says this first. I got my order wrong. Chick says, I like them even better than sunrises. And Fox says, have you ever seen a sunrise? And Chick says, well, 
this morning I almost did. <laughs> so he, he apparently hasn't seen a sunrise, which are also beautiful. But they're seeing a beautiful sunset. I love sunsets too, and sunrises. And here is the end. Fox, I am ready for another chocolate cake. <laughs> that's a funny way to end the book, isn't it? And that's the end. Now I'll read you one more. And this one is The Quiet Boat Ride. So here we go. And you can see the picture of the shore, some plants, and Fox is pushing a rowboat into the water. That looks like fun. I used to live on a lake when I was young and we had a rowboat and it was fun to go for rowboat rides. Uh-huh. What are you doing, Fox? I'm going for a quiet boat ride, he says. There he is. And Chick was asking him. And what do you think Chick's going to want to do? Can I come too? Well, I guess it doesn't have to be quiet, he thinks. Hmm because he just said he wanted a quiet boat ride. If he takes Chick with, what do you think is gonna happen? Chick's gonna talk, yeah. <laughs> so he said, hmm, well, I guess it doesn't have to be quiet. And he says, okay. And he takes Chick into the boat. He helps him into the side of the boat with his hands. And then Chick says, can I be the captain? And Fox says, we don't really need a captain, Chick. Captain Chick. That sounds good. What does the captain do, Fox? <laughs> so that's where they're just talking when I just read. <clears throat> captain Chick. A captain sits still and quiet, says Fox. Well, I'm not the captain anymore then, he says. Little Chick says. So they keep riding and uh, rowing together. And then Chick says, are there sea monsters down there? So here's where they're talking. And there's where he asks, are there sea monsters as he's looking over the water into this beautiful lake? You have to be careful, don't you, when you're in a boat? This is what he's thinking. Those are some scary looking and goofy looking monsters, right? This one, I guess that's his mouth with one eye and some other weird shapes. And Chick says, I'm not fond of sea monsters. And Fox says, don't worry, Chick, this is a pond, not a sea. Are there pirates in this pond, he says. So here's where they're talking about it, and he's looking. Are there pirates in this pond? Hmm, what do you think? And this is what he imagines. Fox going, arr. <laughs> I don't even know who these, all these characters are, but they're all some animals that look like pirates and some fish peeking out. And Chick says, I don't trust pirates. Fox says, don't worry, Chick. There is nothing to plunder on this boat. And that means like to steal from the boat. Pirates did that. They would capture a boat and then take the things out of their boat that they wanted, like money or expensive things. <clears throat> because pirates were troublemakers. So Chick is worrying about that, but Fox says there's nothing they could take even if there was a pirate. So then Chick thinks of another problem, and he says, what if we get shipwrecked? Hmm? He's got a lot of things on his mind, doesn't he? Shipwrecked means the ship wrecks or the boat gets damaged. And he pictures this in his mind, that the boat would break. They would have to scramble to this tiny little island with one tree and just a little bit of land. And they would be stuck there without any resources, any food or anything. And Chick says, I would hate to get shipwrecked. And Fox says, don't worry, Chick. We could swim to shore because it's not a very big lake. And apparently they both swim. That would be an important thing to know before you go on a boat, shouldn't it? If you could swim or not. And Chick says, oh, I don't know, Fox. This was supposed to be a quiet boat ride. And he looks very concerned. Hmm. I know, just a minute. A quiet boat ride. That was my plan. Are you kidding me? Sea monsters, pirates, shipwrecks. Chick is saying, we've had all of that. Have they really had all of that? 
Who has been worrying about all that? Fox or Chick? Right, and Fox is trying to reassure him. Don't worry about all that stuff. That's not going to happen here. And then Chick says, wait, is it? Oh, yes. Land, land, thank heavens. He's so excited because they're back to the shore and they're going to land their boat. Fox is kind of making a face like, mm. he's kind of rolling his eyeballs like, hmm. These quiet boat rides can be very stressful, says Fox. <laughs> and look at what Chick is doing. He's kissing the ground. Smooch, smooch, smooch. <laughs> He's so happy and thankful to get home safely, which would be okay if there really had been problems, but there wasn't any problems. Who thought them up? Chick thought them all up. Even though Fox tried to tell him not to worry. So he felt happy when they got back safely. <laughs> that fox and chick, they're pretty funny together, aren't they? Well, that's the end of this collection. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.